doesn't surprise you what transfer windows are like though does it I know you've been involved in this <laughs> one but you, you probably follow all the football yeah. channels and all that goes on the TV it, it's a mad time isn't it yeah you've been part of it <laughs> yeah um, like two years ago when I moved and I went to Accrington Stanley that all happened so quick so I kind of knew coming into this that something was going to materialise quite quick so I just had to be ready to come down just talk us through your, your career, you know, I know you mentioned I can just tell them a bit more about that in a moment or two's time, but talk us a bit about, you, you know, I think it was eight years of age, yeah. or six years of age, yeah. something like that, as a, a young boy off to Chelsea. Yeah, so I went there when I was six with the development team to start with, um, that moved on to that hand when I was about seven turning eight, and since then I've been with Chelsea up to pretty much now, um, went on loan to Accrington Stanley uh, last season, what was it the season before? Yeah, but um, went to Accrington Stanley, had um, a good a good start, and it was um, it was something different to what I was used to. So it was good to get out and experience the men's game. But yeah, that's been pretty much my journey so far. And what was it like down at Chelsea? You know, being involved in, yeah. in a club like that, mm. you know, one of the biggest in the world, and you grew up there basically. Yeah, yeah it was um, it was excellent from young, um, just building relationships with the players, uh, the staff members. I've had um, a lot of the players in my team back then were from around my area as well, so we've literally grown up together. But yeah, it was, it was amazing being part of such a massive football club, but now's the next step and hopefully I can build on and push on here. Being involved with that club and the, some of the biggest players in the world, I know your past didn't cross with a, you know, a, a favourite of this particular football club in Steve Holland, but I remember speaking to him and he used to say to me about how they trained the droppers yeah. of this world, the Michaelis yeah. of this world, the Lampards of this world. Yeah. It was, you know, 100% top, top yeah. notch. And I suppose that's in you as well, isn't it? Yeah, I think um, every year you kind of get a new experience and um, a new drive within yourself. And the training sessions are challenging every, every day. It just kind of steps up and... When you go from 16s to the 18s, it's different. When you go from the 18s to the 23s, it's different. And when you make the step up and you're in with the first team a bit, it's a lot different there. You realise how much you've got to, you've got to really think and, and play faster. But, yeah. This is your second loan now. now. Well, not now, because it, it, it's your second move out <laughs> yeah. because you've signed a permanent deal at Crew. Well, how important was getting that first loan? How difficult was it? Because many times we've been a lot of players coming here on loan and they found it hard, that first loan. Is that something that you have to take and gain the experience from? Yeah, I think it's always hard coming from the 23s football um, into like a loan setup or a different thing going into men's football. It's a lot different depending on where you go as well. Um, so you just kind of have to get used to it and adjust. When I first went out, um, I was lucky enough to, in my first couple of games, get a few goals and from there I kind of picked up and just kind of kept going with it. Um, then towards the end of the season I wasn't playing as much, got injuries. So yes, yeah, it's, it's a difficult time when you're moving clubs and going on loan to different places, but you just kind of, you got to get used to it, getting the rhythm and then when the rhythm comes then the, the way you play comes out a bit more and you just got to keep building like that. How do you see this permanent move then now for you at this stage of your career? What can it do for you? Um, it could do a lot of things. Um, hopefully in a, in a good direction and this club, I know the amount of players they, they push and coming through the academy and things like that and they will play young players. Um, that was one thing that was really important to me to get into a team that I could, I could get on the pitch for and really show what I'm about. So yeah, that's been my main thing. Goals, there's one or two goals in yeah, I've yeah. noticed that the, you got off with a, a dream start. Yeah, yeah. Got yeah. On the old, uh, you know, the, the football league yeah, yeah. Game a few, few years ago. Is that... Part of the, the makeup of what you've got and what you're bringing? Um, yeah, I pride myself a lot on my attacking play. I think going forward I've got a lot to offer. So if that's goals, assists, creating chances, um, I think in that aspect I've got, I've got a lot to offer the team. And when I went to Accrington, luckily enough, um, I got the three goals in the first game, then the goal in the second game, and it really just helped to kind of put me in a position where I feel like, yeah, I can, I can do this. The one thing that's got to happen here, there's going to be a few of you newcomers. Yeah. You've all got to hit the ground running yeah. because the, the biggest aim, I'm sure the manager and yeah. the staff have spoken about, you've got to get out of the yeah. bottom four. Not a bad little start at come weekend yeah. when Rotherham comes yeah. in the top three. Yeah, uh, yeah there's some big games coming. Um, I've spoken to the gaffer um, and I think the team can do it. I've watched them play a couple of games as well and I follow. Um, so I think we've got what it takes to, to beat that relegation and I want to help the team as much as I can.